Welcome to Beaded Doilies by Shell. In this video, we are going to continue creating our napkin ring. Okay, we are right here on our piece. So as we are using the one needle stitch, we'll take one end and we will go away from our finished work going through the top bead get my string to go through there we go then we want to pull out about four inches or so and then we're going to thread down through four circles weaving back and forth go through the two side beads and the center bead the next two side beads the center bead beads center and then side beads And now we'll head back the way we came from, doing the same, weaving back and forth through the side beads and the center beads. We'll see this is top bead again and we're back where we started so we can now clip off make sure not to accidentally clip your working string just clip off the short string and then we take our working string which is facing in towards our finished rows and we go through the two side beads going up 
where we want to add our next set of beads and we need two grains and a red. And we go through the top bead going in towards our finished rows. And we go through our two side beads again. And then we go through the next two side beads. Right? And now we need a yellow, a red, and a green. to the top bead of our previous circle, then the two side beads again, and then the next two side. three reds go through the top bead two sides This next one will also need three reds. the last circle for this row so we will also go through the bottom bead of the finished circle on the other side and then we will add only two beads this time which both will be red and then we'll go through the top we'll do our two side beads And then this time we'll come out through the center bead so that we are ready to start our next row. We'll bring over the enlarged print. And we are coming out down here. So I will have to look over here to see what colors we need. But before we do that, we want to go through the bead just above where the side be just above where the string is coming out. So see where your string is coming out and you go through the side bead that's just above it. And for this one we are going to need four red beads.
and seeing where the bead that our string is coming out of, we want to go to the bead that is on the opposite side of where the string is coming out. We go through it and through the bead that our string is coming out of. And we have the first circle for our new row. Then we'll go up through the next two side beads. Alright. So that puts on this circle here. So our next circle is red, yellow, red. And we go through the top bead of our previous circle. Our two side beads. And the next two side beads. Now we need red, yellow, yellow. And now we've come to the line here, and we need to come down to where the line is here. This row is done. And, okay, um, we come, and we were, we're coming out here now. So we need to add one, two, three. So that is a red, yellow, yellow. Just continue up our pattern as usual. So we need another red, yellow, yellow.
this time we need two reds and one yellow. Three reds. a red, a yellow, and a red. a red and two yellows. and a yellow.
next two side beads. Alright, there we go. Now we need a red, a yellow, and a red. Looking at the wrong spot, where am I? Ah, oh, I am. Okay. Back up, take those off. Alright, I knew that wasn't right. Okay, two reds and a green. Need a yellow, followed by two reds. reds Two greens and a red.
two yellows. Go through the two side beads. And the bottom bead of our finished section. And then we add the last two beads for this row, which is a red and a yellow. Go through the top of your previous circle. Up through your two side beads. And then back out through the center bead. To get us set to start the next row. Now, as you may notice, each time we went down, and of course we were down here, so I will need to look on the pattern to see what the bead colors we're going to need. Oh wait, but first, we want to, as we've done each time, is where our string is coming out, we want to go through one side bead that is right above where the string is coming out. That gets us ready for our next bead set of beads, which we are coming out here. Coming out right here, so we need two reds and two yellows. that is opposite of where the string is coming out. And we want to go through the bead that our string is coming out. Then go through the next two side beads. And that takes care of this circle here. So, we need two yellows and a red. Go through your top bead of your previous circle. side beads and the next two side beads. Right. Now add three yellows.
add three more yellows. It's to the end so as this bead the line is going through it that means this bead is already on our piece so we just continue up and the next two will be all yellow so we'll need three yellow beads three more yellow beads reds and a yellow. yellows and a red. This is short enough, so we are now going to string back four, four circles, weaving back and forth to secure our string.
want you back at the beginning. Then you just clip off the excess. And we just have a little bit more to go and our piece will be done. So we'll see you in the next video.